You see, most people trying to land a cloud job are making a very big mistake. Maybe you've watched a lot of online videos or you've done a couple courses. Maybe you even have a certification. Maybe you've even built projects, but you just still aren't landing a job. That's because you're missing this one key thing, a portfolio. Now, just so you know a little bit about me, I'm part of a team teaching over 70,000 people around the world. And just last week, I actually had a call with a student who had recently been laid off from his job. He did these hands-on projects that I'll show you. He documented his work, he made a portfolio, and then he shared around both his portfolio and his work. So we're gonna cover this in the video, but just to give you an update on that student, 15 days later, he ended up landing a job paying three times what he's currently making. Now he had put in a few months of work doing all the projects in the background, this just didn't happen in 15 days, but it goes to show you that these results are possible if you put in the work. Now, step number one is where to get projects for your portfolio. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is actually go into LinkedIn. I'm just gonna have a look at some different jobs to try and find the skills required to land a DevOps engineer role. So now I can see in key responsibilities here, they want automation. So they want tools like Terraform, Ansible. Uh, they want you to be comfortable with CI CD pipelines. So Jenkins plus AWS, Azure, GCP, some scripting, some automation, monitoring and logging. So there's quite a few skills that you, you wanna be picking up here. Uh, and what we're gonna do next is actually go and find projects that match these skills. So what I'm gonna do here is actually go to this website called learn.nextwork.org. Cool. So once I'm on this website, there's gonna be some recommended tiles that pop up here. What I'm first gonna do is just log in create an account for free with Google. It's really, really easy. All right, so I'm actually all logged in. Now what I'm gonna do is go to the bottom here and just click on this little magnifying glass on where it says projects. And what you're gonna see is some tiles open up here. Now we were looking for DevOps skills, so I'm actually just gonna click into this tile, but you can search up what you want at the top here. Uh, so now once I'm in this DevOps view, I can see that there's, there's quite a few projects here. All right, I see some Kubernetes, I see Elastic Beanstalk, CI CD pipeline. This seems like part one, so I'm just gonna click into here. And now we actually get a whole project. So you see this here? In the seven project series, we'll create a CI CD pipeline. So that was one of the skills that we wanted on that LinkedIn. Now we can actually go ahead and build our own project here. Now this actually brings me to part two, which is how do you document your project? I'll just quickly show you, as you're going through the project, I'd recommend filling in these boxes. They're either gonna ask you to fill in the questions or to add in screenshots. This is gonna help you as at the end, you're gonna get a surprise. All right, so once you actually get to the end of a project, you can click this view documentation button. Now you can go ahead and download your documentation. You're gonna notice it says generate social posts. You can share it to LinkedIn, X, Facebook, Instagram. And then there's this save project button here. Now I'm gonna show you what you can do. You can either save as to your portfolio, save as a PDF, readme, markdown, or share a public URL. What I'm gonna do first is actually just download this documentation. I'm gonna choose light mode uh, rather than dark mode or the color mode. And then I'm gonna save and download my documentation. All right, so you can see that it just downloaded. What I'm gonna do now is actually just save this to my portfolio as well. So now I'm gonna save my documentation to my portfolio. You're probably wondering what is that, but I will show you in a second. All right, so you can see it's all saved to my portfolio now, and I'm just gonna cancel out of here. Now, once you've done that, I'm gonna show you part three, which is building a portfolio of your project. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just take you to my portfolio before I show you how to actually post your documentation in other places. So first we're gonna go down to the bottom of our screen here. I'm gonna click this portfolio button here. Now you can see I already have a bunch of projects in here. I can edit my name. I can say this is Maximus's project portfolio. I can add a description, uh, but this is the project that I just added to my portfolio. So I'm gonna click into that. So now you can see I've actually just done this project here on containers on Elastic Beanstalk. It has everything beautifully formatted. It has my screenshots. It has my answers as to what is Docker. One thing I didn't expect, how long the project took me. It also has a step-by-step -step guide on not only the process for the project, but what are the services that you've used. Uh, I think it's a beautiful way of presenting documentation and it's something that you should be looking out for so that anyone can really complete your project and understand what you've done in the project in a really 
easy and visual manner. Now, if we go back to this project portfolio section here, you'll notice that I have quite a few projects. You can actually add in a unlimited amount of projects if you have the pro version. Otherwise, you can get three projects in here for free. And I'll show you that you can actually add in any project that you want. So let's say you had a YouTube video. I'm just gonna call this rag explanation. Now I'm gonna go to YouTube and just go share one of my videos here just to show you what you can do. So I'm gonna go back to the project here. I'm gonna copy in a YouTube link now and I'm gonna upload this project. Now you can see that at the top here is where my rag explanation shows up. And right, it goes so straight I'm into my video. Rag. Wow, that guy's so handsome. So the beautiful thing here is that you can actually add in anything. So I showed you that you can add in a URL, so you could add in your own website, you could add in any PDF that you've done. Um, so it's not only projects from this website that you can add in, but everything else as well. I think the thing that I like about this most is I've seen a lot of videos on how to create your own website, how to create your own portfolio. But in my opinion, the best portfolio is the one that it's easiest to add to and there's no barriers to entry. And this is very, very easy to set up very quickly. So I think it makes a brilliant place to host your portfolio, especially if you're just getting started. All right, so lastly, how do you share this portfolio and how do you share your projects? And then lastly, once you've built a portfolio, you've done projects, I'm gonna show you where to share them. Now, if you remember, we actually did this Elastic Beanstalk project here. So what I'm gonna do is go back into that. And you remember at the bottom of the project, where we saved our documentation, we could share it to different platforms. So I'm gonna to go to download documentation, I'm gonna generate a social post. So I see a lot of sharing of projects on LinkedIn. I think it's a great place to get started. So I'm gonna click that. Now it's gonna auto generate a post for us here, which is awesome. Now you can obviously edit this as much as you want. I personally don't like the boat emoji, don't like the rocket ship, so they're gone. Now I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom here and it's great because it'll link the website that you did the project on, but you can actually cross out of this and then go into add document here. So if you remember correctly, what we did is we actually downloaded a PDF, what we just saw in the portfolio. We can then download this into LinkedIn and I'm gonna call this Elastic Beanstalk and we're gonna wait for it to download. Once it is done, I'll show you what it's gonna look like. Cool, and once it's loaded up, it's gonna look something like this. I'm actually just gonna post it here so you can see it. So now my beautiful documentation is posted to LinkedIn. You can see I did these projects. Here is all my information, uh, my reflections on my project, my steps. So now anyone can do this project as they've seen your documentation and it's beautifully laid out. Plus if people comment on it, that means their friends are gonna see it, potentially recruiters are gonna see it, and now suddenly your documentation, which you just did super simply, is being showed around to potential recruiters and people who are gonna find your work. I'm also gonna give you a bonus tip here, which is a structure for how you can showcase your projects on your resume. So as we kind of touched on before, depending on the job that you're going for, you wanna tailor this to actually match the skills of the role you're trying to apply for. But here's a good structure that I've seen. And then I'll also put an example of what that looks like on screen. And there's also so many different ways you can do it with ChatGPT. You can potentially put your project into ChatGPT, ask it to summarize it for your resume, depending on the skills that you read on the job description, and then it's gonna do it for you. Usually it's gonna be pretty good, but make sure you double check it. And that just about wraps up today's video. I hope if you learned something new, you hit that subscribe button as we try and build the world's best way to learn online. And I have my fingers crossed hoping for your success. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see next as well. And that just about wraps up today's video. I hope if you learned something new, you hit that subscribe button as we try and build the world's best way to learn online. And I have my fingers crossed hoping for your success. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see next as well.